And look, this is real basic, and this is one of the reasons why I'm, I'm kind of combining some different attributes of God into one sermon, because I'm not going to spend tons of time on this. I think this is pretty basic, pretty elementary, but it does need to be brought up. Uh, one reason it needs to be brought up is just for the fact that there are false religions out there and there's cults out there that deny the deity of Jesus Christ. And even just seeing verses like this, we need to have this reaffirmed so that you don't get screwed up by some false prophet out there trying to tell you, oh, Jesus Christ is just a created being. Jesus Christ is just Michael the archangel. Jesus Christ is not God in the flesh. When we see verses like this, we understand uh, who God is, but specifically in Hebrews chapter 7, that Jesus Christ himself is, you know, this demonstrates the deity of Jesus Christ and that God is eternal. God has no beginning and no ending. Amen. Isaiah 43, look at verse number 10. Isaiah 43 is where we started. Look at verse number 10. The Bible reads, Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servants whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. So he's saying there has never been any other God. There is one God. No matter how far back you go, because God is eternal, there is, there's never been another God. It's not like God is our current God in a succession of gods. He's like, there's never been any other God. And you know what? There's not going to be any other gods in the future. He's saying, you can know this and trust this for sure, that I am God and that there's never been any other. There's never going to be any other. So you just worry about the one God, the Lord, that you need to worship and you need to look to. It's not different for different time periods. It's not different for anything else. You just, he says, like, I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. There is one God and he is eternal. There's never been any other gods. Yeah, you say, well, who would believe there's other gods? How about the Mormons? Right. Which have been, I don't know. It seems like they've been gaining just popularity in general. I don't know. Or at least either that or they've been somewhat successful in not being perceived as cultish as they actually are. And cultish in, the, in that they follow a man. They follow the teachings of a man. They don't believe the Bible. They don't believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. They don't believe he's God in the flesh, that's for sure. And they do believe in multiple gods. Maybe you didn't know that before, but the Mormons believe that there are multiple gods. And that a good Mormon one day will be a god of their own planet. That that's what they believe. And if you don't believe me, look up. Now, here's they, won't, they don't want to talk about that. When they're out riding on their bikes and, and you know, knocking on a door and you've got the 13-year-old elder you know, that, that goes off on their mission trips, they don't want to tell you that they believe in multiple gods. And I've had so many of them, because I, I used to live in Arizona, and there's a lot of Mormons out there. I, don't, I haven't seen very many as, as much out here. They're not as big out here. But out west, they're, they're, there's a lot of them. And um, I've had some of them lie to me flat out before finally admitting, oh, yeah, we do actually believe that. Because they're like, what do you mean? We don't believe that. You're like, no, you do. You do. And when you press them on it, you show you actually know what, what their doctrine teaches. Then they'll be like, yeah, you know, it's like they try to hide it. They try to use guile and, and be deceptive. because Why? Because they want to be accepted by all of Christianity. And Christianity at large doesn't accept that you're going to be God of your own planet one day. And that there's just multiple gods. Because the only gods that Christianity believes in, that there's other gods, there are devils. Anything that's called God that's not the Lord, that's not Jesus Christ, is a devil. And that's why Mormonism is a Luciferian religion. It's a devil religion because they believe in these devils and that there'll be a devil one day themselves. 